Uh, hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of, um, not, not the week of, no. This is your financial reading for the first half of February uh, 2019. This month I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe. Uh, also make sure to hit the bell notification icon. And if you get the pop-up, choose all notifications so that you actually are notified. But uh, Leo, let's see what we have uh, going on for you here this month, and yes, uh, let's see here, all right, uh, all right, yeah, you have all love cards, of course, because it's a financial reading, and that would make sense, uh, but you have the eight hearts coming up first, <laughs> and the two hearts, what do you know, so again, obviously, love is important for money, Aries had a very similar message, they didn't, you have literally all love cards except for one, and, um, you know, Aries did not have that, but you know, maybe it's a fire sign thing. Maybe you love improve. Maybe you know you being in a positive relationship kind of improves your finances this month. Again, I will have the love readings coming out uh, in a few days here as well. So we will see what comes up there for you, Leo. But love could be very important. Uh, this could also be all about passions. I said the same thing, Terry. It's like fire and water. Um, all fire signs, all water signs, all get these messages of needing to focus on a passion needing to not just like a job needing to get a job that involves some sort of passion or hobby of yours or needing to create a business that involves something that you actually enjoy again if you're doing something that you don't like again saturn capricorn will probably take it away from you um, because again it's not efficient it's not something that you enjoy so uh you know saturn and capricorn is efficiency it wants things to be efficient it's like if you don't enjoy it you shouldn't be doing it so a lot of you could be more focused on passions. This could also just be a gift from the universe. Uh, you know, basically the way to look at this card is it's karma, and it could represent you having done something good in the past, and it's like now you're getting karmic payback, or maybe you've done a bunch of good deeds over your life. It's like now there's some sort of karmic payback. It could be almost anything that comes in for you, like a job opportunity, money, literally, like a gift of money or something, but it's a, definitely a very good card for you. Uh, this could also represent moving. You have two cards here, that three card actually, that could represent moving for money and or uh, making more money because of a move. So again, if you're moving, this comes up for you, Taurus and Capricorn, I think. So, you know, again, definitely uh, probably because of the astrology there. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Hearts, again, doing something you're passionate about. Two of Spades, again, like I said, needing to leave something that you're not passionate about to get a job that you are passionate about as well for some of you i'd be careful of a breakup as well because again like i said i feel like love you know again if you're going through a breakup love could be affecting your financial situation so i'd be careful if you go through a breakup not to allow it to affect your work or your business or something like that uh, for others this would just say watch your health as well i feel like you are i feel like you are getting more healthy i mean like you know all these hearts cards are amazing so i feel like this could also be improvements in your health so these improvements could, again, allow you to work more. They could make you less tired or whatever, and that could allow you to do more work or put more work in. And again, that could lead to some, you know, good things. Again, every card you have here is about happiness as well. So I feel like you will be very happy this month. I feel like there's a lot of happiness, a lot of improvements, a lot of good things going on here is what I would say. Next, you have the Joker being busy. Yeah, what do you know? Moving. So I feel like some of you could be moving for work or travel, maybe, or maybe you're getting a job that involves traveling for work as well. I feel like ultimately this is what you want to create. It's kind of like the magician, not really, but kind of. And so I feel like you want to create this right here. Security. Uh, you know, this is a card of like safety, security, comfort, protection, and, you know, represents a home. And we get all those things from a home, basically. And I feel like a lot of you want to create that with money. You want to create those feelings uh, with your finances. It's like you just want to be secure, not have to worry about money. Uh, for some of you, I feel vacation. So some of you might need a vacation or might need to take a trip uh, for yourself. For others, again, this can represent a new job coming in. Uh, this could represent a job that involves like wearing many hats, doing a bunch of different skills and doing a bunch of different things so that you can you know, kind of just mix up your day in a lot of ways. So it could just represent doing a lot of activities, doing a lot of things. This could also represent, this is like the full card as well. So it just says take a leap of faith. So a lot of you could be taking a leap of faith to like start a business or get a new job. Uh, next, you have the seven of hearts and the jack of clubs, you showing up here, wanting, again, safety, security, comfort, protection. This is a card called the tree, and it just represents like, you know, something very stable in your life or building something that you can truly be committed to. So again, for a lot of you, this could be in work, business, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to do. For others, this could represent family. Again, family right here. So a lot of you, and right here, your last card. So a lot of you could be, you know, trying to build a stable future for to have a family, 
or for your current family, you could be trying to create more stability there. This can represent fears. Um, I always say with sevens, internal fears don't exist. So I'd let any fears about, you know, not being able to create improvements or whatever, I would let those fears go so that they don't hold you back. Uh, and finally, Ten of Hearts. Again, fortune after difficulty on this card here. Really good card. Uh, very good card for improvements. It can represent uh, new jobs, pretty much any new opportunity. It can represent celebration as well. So there could be some sort of financial celebration. Queen of Spades just represents um, like jumping into darkness. So in a lot of ways, some of you could be like getting a job you're not qualified for, or you could be starting a business where you don't know all the details. But I feel like you're going to do it anyway with this card. Uh, Queen of Spades is one of my like fake it till you make it cards. So I feel like a lot of you could be doing that in a job. And also what I would, I always say with this card, it's one of those cards where it's like if you're having a hard time getting a job, this card wants you to try to get something harder. It's a card of like kind of pushing yourself in a way. And it's a card of, like I said, doing something where maybe you're not exactly qualified, but at the same time, you know, maybe you could get something harder that would be more pay. Yeah, it would be harder. Yeah, you'd have to learn as you go, but it would, it's kind of like forcing yourself to grow and forcing yourself to learn. So a lot of you could be doing that, or a lot of you need to do that with this card is what I'd say there. I just want to see what the next two, yeah, Joker again and four spades recovery. So like I said, I feel like there's like a lot of health stuff here as well. So I feel like some of you could be recovering from a health issue or could have recovered. And that's like allowing for more work and allowing you to be busy with this card here. Uh, you could also just be recovering from a like heartbreak or anything else. And again, it's just allowing you more time for yourself. I think it's like allowing energy and it's allowing you to, you know, put the work in to get the things you want in life. But looks like a really good, I'd say happiness overall. Uh, you know, like I said, really good. There aren't any really major financial cards here. So it's like maybe your finances, maybe they're not like, you know, maybe there's no like explosive growth at this time. But, you know, there is definitely stability and happiness. So you really can't beat that is what I would say there. Uh, so that looks really good to me, uh, Leo. I would also say, yeah, I would say, what I would say also is I would say don't be afraid to spend money on your health either here. I feel like there could be a need for you um, to do that. You know, that could be like signing up for the gym, spending money on it, going to the doctor, spending money on it. I feel like that will, I feel like for some reason with all these cards here, then if you were to do something like that, uh, it would be money well spent. So don't be afraid to spend money on your health uh, as well. Um, it looks really, really good. So thank you for watching, Leo, and enjoy your month.